guys, I'm Aloy Andalus from NBFX and Effective Technical Directors and this is 3D Studio Max news from August. We have a lot of news. I come from SIGGRAPH, they announced a lot of stuff that will come in 3D Studio Max at SIGGRAPH, a lot of interesting stuff that I will show at the end of the video, but we have a lot of things already out and we will start for that. First of all, we have 3DS Max 2020 Update 2 with a lot of new features. Maybe the most visual is Rockness on viewport. It was interesting to display properly PBR materials and now it's possible as you can see. By the way, this rig is downloadable for free. It comes from Milo Cerny, it's available on his webpage. Also the model is from Oleg Knysep. More things, IBL is now easier than ever. Uh, IBL, if you don't know, it's not an ambient occlusion. It's creating lights, a dome light around, and you can see here how it creates this nice soft illumination. And if you apply an HDR eye, it will illuminate based on this HDR eye. So the shadows will come totally naturally from this HDR eye. And if you change the HDR, here I have an HDR that has a very contrast. Uh, you can see that the shadows clearly come from the place where it should come. So it's really nice. Also, they improve shadows. It's way faster iterating. If you have depth of field, it will go way faster. There is as well faster OSL animations. They improve a lot of things. Uh, there is improved notification systems. It's faster to create keys, faster track view, faster list control evaluation. It goes 15 times faster now. Uh, pretty good on that. A tool that is receiving a lot of love is Chamfer. We have new improved patch and radial metering systems, so it works better in more circumstances than before. And as well, they introduced chamfer on Edit Poly and a lot of small fixes there. It's becoming a really nice tool. It's one of the biggest um, modifiers in Max. It has more than 20,000 lines of code. Uh, finally, we have a SketchUp improvements. Uh, basically, you will import faster and more accurate than before. And a SketchUp uh, with the newest SketchUp versions will import as well. Totally fine. We get as well Arnold 5.4. There is some new stuff there. We have a cutter geometry that works at render time. There is Alembic improvements. There is Material X support improvements and, en and enhancements. There is BDB support in the GPU. They start implementing OSL support in GPU. It's not fully supported yet, but there is initial uh, OSL. Most maps are working. There is better progressive and adaptive, adaptive sampling overall. Important to say that Arnold adds support for Bifrost. Bifrost, I will talk a lot on Bifrost in another video because we present a lot of things in at SIGGRAPH. It's really important for the future of Maya and Max and others. And the important here is that now Arnold supports volumes, strands and instancing in Bifrost and that will be important in Max in a very few time too. And with Arnold we get as well Max 2A update 3.2.54 it's a bridge between max and arnold and so now we can use all the benefits of arnold 5.4 on max as well arnold lights was not really working well on viewport with different types of exposition and shadows was not uh, correctly displayed now all this is fixed we have representation for procedurals on the viewport there is improvements on baking textures there is alembic layer support overall a lot of improvements on this area more free tools, a spline offset is from my two software. They create multiple different free tools like clone, glue, color edge that you can see on his webpage. A spline offset is an array tool for splines, so you can create all types of arrays. It's fully parametric it, and has automatic healing of overlapping splines. Really interesting to create different types of motion graphics. It has multiple corner bevels, different IDs, offsets, and it works great with his other tools like Forest Pack and Rail Clone. And again, it's free. Frost 2.3.0 is released, basically adding support for Max 2020. And it's important because it was the last Thinbox product that was not supported yet on Max 2020. So now we have all Thinbox products with support for the last version of 3ds Max. There is a Max uh, meeting group for users in Montreal, September 19th. It's a Thursday. It's hosted by Autodesk on the, on the office of Autodesk in Montreal. I will be there. 
and it's starting at 6 p.m. There will be multiple people from Ubisoft uh, showcasing pipeline and tools based on 3ds Max, and it's always a cool place to to meet with the developers and other users of 3ds Max. If you are around, um, say me hi. Typeflow keeps evolving with like two or three releases a week. There is so many things I can say to Typeflow, but basically maybe the most important is that now we have set ref, get ref. So you can reference other particles and you can say particles to go to his reference and things like that. But there is much more. You can check the release notes. Uh, it's keep evolving to a great piece. Quad Remesher has been announced for 3ds Max. It's a new retopology tool. It was it's compatible with Max, Maya, and Modo, and it starts with $59 uh, for an indie release. It's uh, pretty cool, looks like it's working very well. Another tool for Max is Voodoo. Voodoo is a motion capture system using an iPhone system. It can create real-time tracking to your 3ds Max uh, rig. Quite interesting. Verge 3D has been updated for 3ds Max. It's a system to create web-based interactive apps without needing of code. It has a lot of updates to create nicer viewport representations like screen space reflections and better uh, shadows. 3ds Max Indie has been announced at SIGGRAPH. Basically, it's a full 3ds Max. The only thing is that you need to do less than $100,000 a year and be resident of Australia, Canada, New Zealand, UK or US. And basically you pay $250 a year instead of the $2,500, so it's 10 times less. Uh, you can use the plugins, there is no limitations in any way. Uh, Autodesk did something weird here, like trying to see how it will work during three months. If it works well, it will be available for other countries. Magic Pictures created two new plugins for 3ds Max. One is AccuBullet, basically it's a bullet integration system in 3ds Max. The other is AccuMeasure, it's an open VDB measure system in 3ds Max. Each one costs $250 and it's available right now. Meow's Object Replacer version, it's now 1.7, has been updated, keeping some naming conventions. It's a script for $6, it's super useful when you need to replace a lot of objects for other objects. You can do things like keep the bonding box size of the referenced object and move it to the, your new object, scale it proportionally or unproportionally, do variation in rotation, all this type of stuff. Hard Mesh, it's available for 3ds Max as a beta version. It's created by Constantino, you can email him and get a beta. And basically, it's a popular Boolean system that was in Maya and now will be available in Max as a modifier. Quite interesting, you need to follow this up. During SIGGRAPH, we presented Bifrost available already for Maya, but as well we showcase Bifrost running in 3ds Max and we announced at SIGGRAPH that it's available on the beta, so if you want to try it, you can join the beta. Uh, Autodesk showcased the first implementation that it's an instancing system modifier based based on Bifrost. As you can see, it handles like a ton of geometry. These are instancing of a skin grab object uh, in real time in a laptop, and it can instance millions of objects and handles information in an incredible way. The roadmap as well has been updated. A lot of things that wasn't a roadmap is already there, and a lot of other things in the roadmap already has been seen at SIGGRAPH. They showcase an USD implementation in 3ds Max to talk with Omniverse from NVIDIA, for example. Material X is in development as well. Improvements on performance of 3ds Max, redoing the core to make it much more stable and fast. They showcase the retopology tool, a, rend a new totally new render to texture tool, and animation improvements both in populate and retargeting systems in CAD and, and biped. There is a, a lot of cool stuff coming to 3ds Max. I have been in 3ds Max for over 18 years and it's the first time I see that they are redoing all different parts of 3ds Max, not once at a time. There is like initiative for all areas on 3ds Max and it's super finally interesting to follow the development of Max. We all know that for some years has been kind of like lagging behind. Now, finally, I have to thank the devs. We have been seeing already the last year much more updates and much more will come. So let me know what do you think on the comments, guys. I hope that you like this news. I will try to keep doing that every month. 
I saw that I have so much stuff, I would like to condense it a little more. But yeah, there is a lot of things coming around 3ds Max lately. Thank you guys and see you soon.